What's going on guys? This is especially on Steadfast Courage. Today I'm going to talk about a subject that I felt like talking about. I do little segments now where I talk about whatever I feel like talking about, which is AI. Last time it was about the NGSW. Check that video out if you want. And about the Ukraine's, Ukraine war. You can check that one out too as well if you haven't seen it yet. But anyways, let's go back to this. So I want to talk about AI. Artificial intelligence. It's one of those things that you see movies about. There are movies upon movies about this subject. We got Terminator 1, Terminator 2, Terminator 3, Terminator 4, and 5, and all the, except 5 sucked. I hate it, 5. But anyways, these movies, they depict AI in a negative light, and that's all you're gonna ever see. Most people are gonna see them as negative. Fuck you, asshole. Depending on who they are. Me, I would see it as negative. Why? Because I sometimes I hate using my cell phone. This damn thing. I hate using this thing. I wish it would just get out of my life and we could go back to the old days where we had big old block phones. And we just use that for communications or just communicate through payphones. I remember those days, payphones. Sir, did you ever hear of the concept of other people? Um, me being that for the phone, sir. Oh, you turned uh -huh. your back on me. Oh, 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 he got me mad. I almost like it. So sweet. No one bothered you, no one picked on you, no one sent you messages the dead of night waking you up from your slumber. It was nice, except if you had like a landline. I never had a landline, but I'm sure most people had landlines. Well, I don't guess. But that's just how I see it. I see it as a negative. More technology is not a good thing, 90% of the time. Sometimes it is. That 10% of the time. For example, Elon Musk's company, Tesla, their computers can get hacked. Their brakes can get hacked. Things can get hacked. Things can be taken over by other place things. More internet is not the answer for things, okay? I'm telling you, more internet makes more problems. I know about this because sometimes I don't even want to mess with the internet. Like, for example, I'm going to rant on this. Goddamn video games, all right? Video games. I can't even play Call of Duty without updating the damn thing every time I try to play it. There's so many updates. It's so stupid. It's so annoying. More internet is not a good thing. I remember back in the old days where you just pop in the disc, play it. Always plays. Only thing I want to play is the damn campaign. That's all I want to play. I don't want to play online. Online sucks, in my opinion, when it comes to Call of Duty, but that's just me. I just wanted to play a campaign, simple, bing, bing, boom, Call of Duty 4, zombies, I would just wanted to play the old Call of Duty with all the other characters, with them seeing them, that's all I wanted to play, you can't do that no more, it's just an online goddamn game where you play zombies with other people, which is not, it's, it's alright, I'm not, I'm not a fan, I only played it once, because I, I, I'm not a fan of it. I just want to play local. That's it. That's all I'm asking for. Local. Nothing fancy. No internet. But anyways, back to AI. The more stuff you add into this stuff, the worse things get. Trust me. From a person, from a lowly infantryman in the National Guard, more technology does not help you. Does not make things better. Does not make things easier. So I looked up on Google. There's a study done by OpenAI where AI is doubling every 3.4 months ridiculously fast this thing's just going 100 miles an hour and elon musk is one of the forefronts of these people who are seeing what it can do and there's a video about it you can check it out on the youtube it's on a link below where he's talking about how dangerous ai can be i mean the man is smart the question here is a lot of experts in ai don't share the same level of concern that you do about the danger huh. of ai Ooh. <laughs> What, what Famous last words. What, speci what specifically do you believe that they don't? Well, the biggest issue I see with so-called AI experts is that they, they think they know more than they do. Um, and they think they're smarter than they actually are. 
Um, in general, we are all much smarter than we think we are, but much less smart, dumber than we think we are, um, by a lot. So th th this, is, this tends to plague, plague smart people. Um, they just can't, they, they define themselves by their intelligence and they, they don't like the idea that a machine could be way smarter than them, so they discount the idea, which is fundamentally flawed. That's the wishful thinking uh, situation. Um, I'm really quite close to, I'm very close to the, to the cutting edge in AI, and it scares the hell out of me. Um, it's capable of vastly more than almost anyone knows, and the rate of improvement is exponential. And he talks about how scientists think they're smarter than AI, and people don't know what they're talking about when it comes to AI, they're just completely lost. But something that can double in the, something that can be advanced within 3.4 months, every 3.4 months. It's gonna see how contradicting humans are. Humans are very contradicting creatures. We're pretty much biological machines that always contradict one another. If you go look at politicians, always contradicting themselves. The bill before us will certainly do some good. It will authorize some badly needed funding for better fences and better security along our borders. The fence is now basically complete. Maybe they'll need a moat. Maybe they want alligators in the moat. Secure our borders with technology, personnel, uh, physical barriers if necessary in some places. We will not build a wall. Instead, we will build an economy where everyone who wants a good job can get one. I voted for a fence. I voted, like, unlike most Democrats, and some of you won't like it. I voted for 700 miles. Let me tell you something, folks. People are driving across that border with tons, tons, hear me, tons of everything from byproducts from methamphetamine to cocaine to heroin. It's all coming up through corrupt Mexico. And the impulse is to hunker down, shut the gates, build walls, exit at this moment is precisely the wrong answer. Former presidents have said to him that they wish that they had built a wall. Do you I recall President Obama ever one. saying that? Come on. Construction of a 630 mile border fence create a significant barrier to illegal immigration on our southern land border. All along the president saying, well, I'll do DACA and Dreamers in return for the wall. He's got it. President Trump, if you want to open the government, you must abandon the wall. If you're looking at women, always contradicting themselves. If you're looking at military, always contradicting themselves. Pretty much almost every entity, pretty much government in general, they contradict themselves. They do the opposite. What happens when a machine that sees in logic, sees how illogical these entities are, how illogical everything is that humans do practically, except for your average everyday person, depending on them themselves, you know, but... What makes you think this thing that can double every month, it probably is going to keep going even further, probably going to double within weeks soon, how fast this thing is going. You think this thing that is knowledgeable and logical and does everything within itself to double and better itself is going to see us contradicting evil little monkeys? As their master? I mean, I swear to God, we start wars for almost no good reason, practically, just for money. Just for that money. And you think this thing is going to just fall in line with us? Are you serious? You fool! You foolish fool! Don't get me wrong, it's a cool concept. I love Terminator. Cool movie. But I really don't want to live it. And knowing me, I'm going to have to be living this thing. I'm going to have to be fighting this, these robots off. Because I'm one of those people that fight these robots off. These scientists that are making this thing, they're not going to be fighting the robots off. They're going to be the ones that get annihilated. Just like they did in Terminator 3. Come on, man. These people are just going crazy with this stuff. We're talking about robots that can pull security for months nonstop without eating. Without even using electricity. Motion activated once if senses something out there 
the motion sensors it turns on and shoots whatever person that is, gets within its proximity. I don't know about you guys, but when you're looking at pulling security, I don't know if any you guys pulled security before. It's a it's horrible to stay awake non-stop. And these computers, they can just do that with ease. You want to face something like that, that doesn't sleep, doesn't drink water, that has solar powered systems, that can live off pretty much just the sun. Come on, come on, you're not thinking clearly guys. Something that we don't understand we're dealing with, we're just, like Ian Malcolm said on, we're going back to the movie references where I hit. I'll tell you the problem with the scientific power that you're, that you're using here. Uh, it didn't require any discipline to attain it. You know, you read what others had done, and you, and you took the next step. You didn't earn the knowledge for yourselves, so you don't take any responsibility for it. You stood on the shoulders of geniuses uh, to accomplish something as fast as you could, and before you even knew what you had, you, you patented it, and packaged it, and slapped it on a plastic lunchbox, and now you're selling it. You want to sell it. Well, I, I don't think you're giving us our due credit. Our scientists have done things which nobody's ever done before. Yeah, yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. And that's just me. I'm ranting about this. This is just my segment. What I think about AI. I'm just some guy in the in his room making YouTube videos and loves guns and loves his country, God and country and family. That's all I am. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's just what I got to say about that. And I hope you guys check out the other videos. If you guys like this segment, let me know. If you want to see more of it, let me know. I could do more videos a week if I feel like doing so. I got a lot of stuff coming up. No worry, I'm working on cool stuff. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe to Steadfast Courage. Make sure you leave a like. Remember, peace through fire is priority. Vote Republican. Specialist Liao.